Hello dear students, welcome back to the new video tutorial based on the chapter e-commerce and e-governance part 2. As we have seen in our previous video that e-commerce refers to the transactions conducted via the internet. Every time individuals and companies are selling or buying products and services online, they are engaging in e-commerce. In a simple words, e-commerce is a business model where the buyer and the seller both are using same platform that is internet via website or mobile application. There are many ways to classify e-commerce websites. Categorization can be done as according to the product or services that they sell, according to the parties that they transact with or even platform on which they operate. If we see the first category that is product or services that they are being sold by the e-commerce merchants are retailers from whom you generally purchase the things using online method. Say you may visit the store's website, for example a furniture retail store, select the design of the furniture, sometimes you go personally to the store and see the items, touch, feel and order the product and make payment using any UPI app. The best example is Lenscart.com. Visitors see and try the eyewear through the website but at the time of purchasing, they visit the store and complete the buying process. In this way, classifying e-commerce according to the product may vary. There is another method of classifying e-commerce and that is according to the parties involved in it. The parties here means the types of buyer that is customer and seller. We have seen Sham's story in our last video. Sham, a shop owner or a businessman selling sarees to ladies that is customers. Later on, he has started selling the sarees to the nearby retailers. Those were also businessmen. Here, we can classify that Sham selling sarees to ladies that means business to customer and Sham selling sarees to retailers that is business to business because those retailers are going to sell those sarees to another customers. All these are called as business models. That is the method of doing business by which a company generate revenue. There are wide variety of e-commerce models. Popular and widely used models are based on sales scenario or sales transactions. Fundamental four models are business to consumer that is B2C, business to business that is B2B, consumer to consumer that is C2C and consumer to business that is C2B. Let's learn all these types of e-commerce models. I'm sure you must have heard about the websites or rather you might have purchased some products from the websites like Amazon, Flipkart, Snapdeal, Jabong or Mintra. These companies follow B2C business model means business to consumer. It provides such marketplace where many local sellers can come and list their products and finally can sell anywhere. For this, these companies charge some commission on every sell, which differs from product to product, range from 5 to 20 percent. These companies don't have their own inventories, but the inventory is owned by those sellers who sell on these websites. Let's understand this with the help of example. Raju is having his own toy shop in the city Nagpur and could sell the toys in the locality where his shop is. So for increasing his sale, he decides to tie up with Amazon and list his products on Amazon's website. Now, whenever any customer searches toys on Amazon, they might find Raju's products or toys on it. If they like, they might purchase it through Amazon. Then Amazon will charge some commission to Raju and remaining money will be given to him. Let's understand this chain of B2C business model. 
you want to purchase something from flipkart.com you have searched the product you have made the payment using your credit card at the same time you have got the order confirmation through email on your reg register email id the same email will be sent to the register seller whose product you have selected to purchase the delivery details along with customer or buyer's information will be sent to the seller so that he can pack the product and dispatch it then the parcel will be picked up by flipkart's delivery partners and then the parcel will be delivered to you after one or two weeks period time flipkart will pay the product price by deducting its commission to the supplier in this way b to c model works the next type of e-commerce is business to business it refers to all the electronic transactions between two companies here the buyer is not the consumer he is going to resell the product to another business entity this type of model typically being followed between manufacturer and wholesaler or between the wholesaler and the retailers with the help of portal or you can say with the help of website let's understand this more clearly business to business model usually most of the businesses comes under this model this can be a software company marketing agency raw material supplier company etc in this type businesses sells their products and services to other businesses the most famous example is intel company intel is american based company which manufactures processors this company sell these processors to the renowned companies like apple lenovo hp dell etc in this way in b2b the transaction is in between two companies or two businesses the next business model is consumer to consumer model or c to c this is the old business model before the internet existed people would participate in c to c commerce at a flea market flea market is a place where people sell second hand items antiques etc now let's understand more about c to c business model this type of business model has become more popular in the internet era in this model a company provides a common platform in the form of website or portal where the individuals can buy or sell the products owned by them within themselves example is olx where any consumer can sell the product or the thing owned by him to the other who is in need of it in c to c transaction of product occur between two consumers let's see one short story based on it this is varun having unused stuff at his home which he had hardly used such unused stuff he had stored in the garage due to which he was not able to park his car in that garage one day while surfing on internet he came across the website unstuff.com this website is specially meant to sell the used products or to buy the stuff used by others varun found that this website deals with buying and selling of stuffs like clothes furniture electronic items and even big items like cars too he just clicked the photograph of his sofa set and posted it on that website nilesh was surfing for a sofa set on the same website saw the pic posted by varun he contacted varun and purchased the sofa set and thus both became happy one by one varun sold all his unused stuff on that website and soon he could be able to park his car in that garage so this is all about c to c business model where two people trade with each other in an online environment through a common platform 
that is a website or a mobile application. Next model is consumer to business. Consumer to business is a model in which consumer or individuals create value and business consumes that value. For example, when a consumer writes a review or gives a useful idea for a new product development, then that consumer is creating value for that business. This is complete reverse model of B2C. Currently, this type of model is very popular in market. Let's take an example. I am going to post this video on my YouTube channel. If I get more views to this video, YouTube may attach some advertisements to my channel, with which YouTube will earn money. Whenever viewer view that advertisement, YouTube will get money from that advertisement company. Thus, there is a formation of consumer to business model. Please stay tuned for the next video based on e-governance. Thank you.